Throughout prehistory and history, native people have hunted for game. Whether in open prairies or gardens, when a man caught meat, he would skin it, cook it, and consume the animal. When we think of hunting tools, the bow and arrow is the first thing that comes to mind. This is largely because these tools and weapons were universal amongst many different native tribes throughout the planet. In this informative speech, I will show and demonstrate how to shoot a bow and arrow Southern California style. Before I demonstrate how to shoot the bow, it is important to understand its roots and early history. According to Aaron Wayman of the Smithsonian Magazine, the first bow and arrow was made at least 71,000 years ago in Africa. Moreover, archaeologists have discovered a collection of tiny blades resembling projectile points in a cave site, suggesting these were indeed used on either an arrow foreshaft or a main shaft. When thinking of these early bows, I am sure that they were either round or oval in cross section, much like the African Bushman bows are today. With this said, a round cross section was not used by every native tribe, especially in historic times. According to Paul Douglas Campbell, author of Survival Skills of Native California, the bows of Northern and Southern California were square, lenticular, or semi-round in cross section. Sometimes bows such as the hoopa incorporated multiple cross sections at different points in its development and design. Now that I discussed the early history and the design of the bow and arrow, I wanna show you how to shoot one Southern California style. Now right behind me, I have both of my targets set up and this is what I'll be shooting into for this demonstration. As far as the bow and arrow goes, the bow is very short. It's made of sinew backed New Mexican locusts and it pulls 40 pounds at 22 inches of total draw length. The first edition of the Bowyer's Bible really talks highly upon sinew backed bows and that's for good reason. Sinew stretches eight to 10 times more than a wood grain, so it produces far more energy and you can pull it far beyond its capabilities compared to a self bow, meaning no sinew or rawhide backing. The arrow, its main shaft is made of cedar. I have a metal tip and then turkey feathers at the other end. So as far as bow woods used in Northern and Southern California, yew, juniper, willow, desert willow, and even oak were all common. In Paul's book, he mentions the grip and the release. The grip would be held with a fist and the index finger would support the arrow. For the release, the thumb would lock onto the side of the knock, the index finger would reach over to the other side, the middle finger would grasp the index finger, the ring finger and the pinky would support it. So it's almost like a pinch grip. It would pull back and release the arrow. Now for a different angle. So once again, we grasp the bow and the index finger supports the arrow. The thumb rests on one side of the knock, the index finger on the other. The middle finger locks onto the index finger, the ring finger and the pinky finger on the string and we pull back. When shooting a traditional bow, we don't wanna pull back on the string and hold it in place. We pull back and release the arrow as soon as possible. In conclusion, the bow and arrow is a very effective and ethical way of hunting game. No matter what ethnicity we are, all of our ancestors hunted with a bow and arrow in prehistoric times. I hope this demonstration on how to shoot a bow Southern California style was informative and most of all, inspirational. Thank you very much.